I want you to imagine this, walking to the door from a knock on the door. When you open it, you see an officer there. Not just a me, but an, ar an army officer. He is holding a flag. Tears will up as you realize what happened. Your loved one, husband, or wife died. They never got to tell you bye. The last thing they said, I love you, was two weeks before, when he, was sent when he sent you a letter home. Now before you is a sign that they won't be coming home. The war they were fighting at, the war on terror in Iraq. March 19, 2003 started the day where thousands of families started losing their loved ones. That day was when George W. Bush launches an invasion in Iraq. We still have soldiers over in Iraq, so it has been over 10 years, almost 11. We lost over 4,500 4, U.S. troops in battle as 2013. 32,223 wounded in action, 320,000 vets have brain damage, which there are many different disorders they, that they have. ASD, acute stress disorder, is one of the main ones, but another one that many know is PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Is one of, yeah. It's hard to say how many suicides Suicides have been dealt with, but around 22 take their day alive. That means one commits suicide every 65 minutes. That's roughly 7,832 a year. As of March 31st, 2014, 970,000 Iraq and Afghanistan on veterans' disability claims with Veterans Affairs. About 150 soldiers, prisoners, are prisoners of war, last updated June 5th, 2014. These are the ones that are reported, so there are probably, there probably and most likely are more. About 10 have been reported that are, were, that were missing in action. Now let's talk about prices. Natural royal cream marble polish tiles Will all the statues be made out of? The price for that is $166.82. Just regular copper for those stars that are on the dome is $99.44. For all the concrete that on um, all the concrete for the whole thing is $2,181.97. The total for everything. $2,448.23. I plan to raise the money by private donations. The reason I chose this monument is because I caught, cause it caught my eye and it's a current war that is going on that thousands of families have been fighting for and they don't get their families back. I also chose this one because my friend, her dad went over and over there he hasn't been back for four years and it's just different there without him. So I did a blueprint of the whole monument. And so down at the bottoms are the symbols that are inside, which there is a helmet with gun and boots to represent killed in action, which that will be five feet tall and one feet wide. And uh, next there is the sign that with the wounded soldiers, which has a soldier thrown over another one's shoulder. And then there's a shield down there to represent prisoners of war. Uh, missing in action, which is a dog tag that says never forgotten. Then over on this side, it is uh, a guy with on a bench with his head in his hand symbolizing mental disorders. And up there are the pillars, which have are the scroll ones, iconic scrolls in that. And up there is the top of the building, which is a dome, but shaped like a square. It also has 50 stars to represent all 50 states that the soldiers went, are from. Then up there is what it would look like all finished.
any questions or comments for Deborah? I really appreciated the explanation of all the symbols and things like that. It was really good. Um, did you give us an idea of where in Washington, D.C. you might be interested in placing this? Um, it was around the same area as Hannah's because we were okay. thinking putting them near each other because they're both dealing with war and terrorism. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Let's give Deborah another round of applause.